Okay, so what in your video um, made me think about some things that annoy me? So, here's my top 10 annoyances. Gary Boys and Sharon Girls. Now, I don't know if you have these in America, but they're people who drive really fast and spend loads on um, doing their car up so that it looks well, to me it looks stupid, but to them it looks really cool and they get big stereos and pump out music so that they then burst their eardrums. Very, very pointless. People who are incapable of writing emails normally and have to use ridiculous text talk, which is only invented so that you could fit everything in a text message on a mobile phone not needed an email. Ah! Uh, I'm not going to tell you the ending, right, but oh my god, it was such a twist. Look, you won't see it coming out. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but oh my god, it made me cry so much. But I won't tell you what happened. I won't. I won't. But oh, you just didn't see it coming. It was like such a shock right at the end. Oh, but no, I won't tell you. No. Um, I really hate it when guys guffaw, I don't know if that's a word, but you know when they laugh like this. <laughs> it's really, really unattractive. I have a phobia of spiders. A phobia is an irrational fear. I don't like it when people see a spider and say, Hey, I don't like spiders but they then like go and start flicking it about or you know squash it or something if you have a phobia of spiders you won't go near it you freeze and go can I have a fear of spiders different from a phobia really annoys me Chav no I don't again I don't know what this would be called in America but Chav are those annoying people who dress up in bling, which is actually, you know, from the one pound shop, and go and hang about on street corners, um, drinking cider and making trouble when they're about, you know, 12 years old. Also closely related to the Gary Boys and Sharon Girls I mentioned earlier. People who are texting all the time, like Hayley mentioned in her, people who are always on their phone. But then, more annoying, is when you see that they're always on their phone, but yet when you text them, they don't text you back. <laughs> Big Brother contestants who don't know who George Orwell is, or who don't know what the book 1984 is, in one of the Big Brothers in England, there was they had to do these work tasks during the day, but actually only one of them was doing these tasks, and all of the rest of them uh, were having parties and stuff. This guy was in the room called 101, and he didn't work out anything. He, he didn't realise. I mean, ugh. I don't think these people who apply for Big Brother anymore have actually even picked up a book. People who talk in cinemas, or worse, text in cinemas. It's all dark, and then you just see this light floating about in front of you. Or, oh, when I went to see I Am Legend, um, the person next to me kept going, I think something's going to happen. I think something's going to happen. Do you think something's going to happen in a minute? Oh my god, I think something's going to happen. She also ate mint pies and a bag of Doritos in the cinema and she talks at this volume during the film. Oh, I, just, I didn't pay six pounds, it's twelve dollars, I didn't pay that to go and sit next to someone who's just going to talk all over the film I just paid to see. I hate it when people tease you for what you like, like, um, oh, Harry Potter is crap, um, but they've never actually read the books, 
really, really frustrating. Like, oh god, what is that rubbish? Like, well, you don't have to like it, but if you haven't read it, you're not going to know, are you? <sighs> Silly people.